Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it will ensure you won't miss any future videos. Hi, this is Kevin Stenzel, owner of Artistic Creations in South Beloit, Illinois, and I would like to show you now how we cast a fish. The first thing we do is apply a mold release. Today we're using car wax. Apply a, we apply it in two thin coats and you just buff it in real nice. You don't want to lose any of the detail of the scales. So you just a nice thin coat. The next thing we do is apply a nice thin coat of PVA as a mold release. We spray this on with an airbrush. I'm mixing up gel coat. Or half into each mold. And then we're going to brush it so it's a nice even layer on the whole fish. And I'll just brush it to the edges. Avoiding the fins at this point, I'm going to come back and do the fins separate. And that's what that looks like. Next is the fins. Just mixed up a batch of resin. And we brush a thin coat on all the fins. This will give us a thin, somewhat transparent fin. And we'll just brush it out nice and thin. Okay, just applying the resin to the fins on the second half of the mold. All right, we got the fins done. Nice thin coat of resin. Now what I like to do when that's still a little tacky is take some fiberglass strands, run them with the thin rays, and this helps to strengthen them up to be less likely to break. Do this real quick. Okay. So we're just laying our fiberglass strands in parallel with the fin rays. Again, just to strengthen it up. Okay, we're mixing up a little more resin now with some chopped fiberglass strands mixed in for strength. We're going to strengthen this body. And the fins are all done. We have um, fiberglass strands in those two, all for strength. And we cover this oh, an eighth of an inch thick or so. Smooth it out nice and even. Just finishing up now the second half. Grab a nice thin coat of the reinforced resin and strengthen this body up. This gives us a nice, strong, and lightweight cast when we're done. Okay, now joining the two halves together. We have two different kinds of resins mixed. This one here for the fins. Um, just straight resin. The other one we have reinforced fiberglass strands for a little more strength and that's fused around to join around the rest of the body. Just put a real thin coat just to laminate the two halves together. brush it out a little bit. Make sure they run nice and thin. And now we go around and join Just a little resin around the edges to join the two halves together. And 
move in quickly. You don't want this to set up before you're ready. That should do it for that half. That's that. Just double check quick. And the two halves go together. And then we clamp it up. I just use vice grips. And just go around the edges. See a little resin oozing out there, that's a good sign. We'll just look around there, make sure the seam is closed all the way around. And that's about all there is to it. We'll let this sit for a few hours. Lots of times I let it sit overnight, and then we're ready to demold, and you'll see the finished product, which is pretty exciting. Now it's time to work on our paired fins. The molds have been treated with the Vaseline. They have a nice thin coat on there as a release. So we just put the two halves together. Put some clamps. And we're ready to pour. Now we're mixing up our smooth cast 325. That makes a real nice translucent fin, flexible fin. You can heat it up, form different shapes. If you want a little curling action to your fin, give it a little flow, you can do that. It'll set up. It looks, looks real good. Now just fill each cavity. And then we set this aside and let it set up along with the body. Ready to demold our fish now. And soon see what we have. Just break the mold open. And there's the first half. Now we're going to demold our fins. And there's all our paired fins. We'll trim them up just a little bit with a pair of scissors. And there's our fins. So here we have our finished blank. I've done a little trimming to it. All that's necessary now is putting in, installing a glass eye, installing the paired fins, doing a little epoxy work around the seams, and we'll be all ready to paint this thing up.